This gingerbread story begins off the coast of Norway when a Viking longship was attacked by a ferocious kraken. Losing the rest of his crew to the Kraken, the lone Viking wields his trusty axe to make his last stand. Hi, I'm Zach and I'll show you how to make a Viking wielding an axe after losing his entire crew to the gingerbread Kraken. First I drew the model. I drew all the pieces I'd need. Then I made the ship in Blender to get a flattened, two-dimensional cutout of the 3D ship. I made the Kraken and ship molds out of sheet metal. I mixed brown, green, and pink gingerbread. I melted sugar and corn syrup for the water. I rolled and cut the dough and placed it on the metal molds. Then baked them at 325 Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes. I made this dragon head which I drew from memory. I assembled the boat, but be quiet, he's sleeping right now. To make the waves, I poured isomalt on a silicone mat. I wait for it to cool down so I could start shaping it into a wave. After a few hours of failures, I ended up with this beautiful wave that should hopefully hold the boat in place. The Kraken waves are used to support the tentacles. This wave goes underneath the boat. I made the mast with no idea how it's going to stand up on its own. Using this dry dock I built, I was able to work on the mast and eventually found a solution after several days of deliberation. I added the benches while the boat was still in the dry dock. I cut out 12 circular shields and I made sure not to throw the excess in the ocean because I didn't want to endanger any turtles. I made the sail out of fondant and used red food coloring to paint the stripes. I ended up making a lot of sails because I couldn't decide what it should be made out of or how many stripes I wanted. I started making the viking out of a wire armature and some fondant. I gave him legs and arms. I gave him a tunic, a fur mantle, a beard, some luscious hair, and an axe. I put the boat back on the dry dock to install some shields I painted. It was finally time to send the ship from the dry dock to its maiden voyage. I hooked the viking's arm underneath the dragon head for support. I added the Kraken. I used white royal icing to put foam on the waves. And here's my finished result. I ended up using this sail because all the others either fell apart or had the wrong number of stripes. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I despised making it. This has been a terrible experience for me. Everything went wrong at every step of the way, and I never want to do this ever again. Thank you for watching.